What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Backyard Jeeping video. My name is Jarek. I am Jonathan. And today we have a goodie from K Suspension. Um, this is the electric fan relay and toggle switch setup. So now you can have your electric fan hooked onto a toggle. I've had this before on my white 95, so I knew that I was going to get it for Big Booty Judy. Especially now that it's becoming spring and summertime again. The weather's getting pretty hot outside, so it's nice to be able to put my fan on a switch. Um, it's pretty simple, plug and play install. So if you'd be interested in getting one of these, just click the link in the description below. Also check out the Instagram and Facebook at Backyard Jeeping, as well as the online store, BackyardJeeping.com. Links for those will be in the description as well. Don't forget, you can also send us a DM on either Facebook or Instagram if you're interested in getting a free decal. So please like, subscribe, and share. Leave us a good comment down below. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. Alright guys, so here's the kit right here all bought up in my hand. Um, you have your heavy duty relay right here. Hopefully you guys can see that with the lighting. Heavy duty relay. You have an inline fuse. And then you have your wiring, which this is 14 gauge wiring. So you have four wires. You have your blue wire, which the blue wire will go to the fan. You have your black, which is your ground. You have your red, which is your 12 volt. And then you have your white, which is your signal wire. It is a plug and play kit. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And we'll go ahead and show you guys how to install it. All right, guys. So I'm over here on the passenger side of the Jeep, you know, near the battery. So we're going to put the relay and your ground wire that's coming off of the relay, you want to put them together. So it's best just to put it, you know, behind the relay. You want to make sure that's close to your battery so you can hook up where your inline fuse is. It is right here. Ooh, that's behind that there. That's got a self tapper. It didn't get the wrong way. All right, I'll strip that thing out. Don't you mess with me, fool. Now you got enough room to reach to your positive side of your battery. Down some more. All right, and then from here, I'll just go ahead and run these wires. We have zip ties. I got a whole bunch of zip ties. All right. So as you can see, we have the relay right there. We have the lead with the fuse able to reach the battery. And we just have it running just around where the factory wire harness goes. Underneath that beautiful Thor Caller intake, all the way over to the driver's side. So now I can get you set back onto the tripod. And then we'll be uh buddy. What you got going on with my brakes here? I don't know. Who needs brakes? Alright, so we are in the engine bay. Still. <clears throat> now you have your four wires. You have your blue, red, white, and black. The red, white, and black wires are actually going to go inside of the cab. So I'll go ahead and hand those to Jonathan so he can run those through the firewall. Now the cool thing the case suspension did is, is your loom that goes on your wiring, they actually have it stopped right at where you can use the grommet to go into the firewall. So that's a really good, neat, you know, little addition that they added there. They really thought that part through, so that way you don't have to worry about cutting the loom back or trying to shove the loom or anything through or drilling a bigger hole or anything. And then your blue wire will stay in the engine bay. That's actually going to connect to your fan. So the 97 to 01 XJs, you'll have a blue and black wire. 
The Pre-97 is green and black. You want to tap into the blue wire on the 97 and up. And then the on the Pre-97, you'll tap into the green wire. Now the kit, sometimes um, it might already have your connect your connector on there. I had to add mine on there, which is not a problem. And then you also get this neat little thing here. Right here. This is what you're going to use to tap into that wire. So you'll just take it, you'll crimp down on it. Grab you some pliers. All the light bars I had on my 85 Ford, I uh, used some things for it. Grab you some good old pliers. Or, and you just want to crimp until it locks. Just like that. Now it's locked on there. And then you take your connection here. And just plug it in. That simple. That's what it'll look like there. And then you just take and run your wire, you know, down through where the factory wire is. Just like that. Pull her on down. And that's how it's connected there. Now the rest of it will be done inside the cab. So we're inside the cab of the Jeep now. We got the wires pulled through the station time on the video. So we just have them just land through the firewall underneath here, underneath the center console and up right there. So Jonathan is gonna do the honors of snipping these wires and getting everything connected. I burned a Jeep down, I'm sorry. Well, that happens. It's a Jeep thing. Now this right here is the switch that it comes with. It's just your standard uh, switch here, 20 volt, or sorry, 20 amp, 12 volt. But I have the panel there that I made forever ago and haven't used, so we figured, hey, let's go ahead and use it on this. Put it to use. I am a trained professional. The ones that we're putting on here is just temporary. These are just what I had in the garage at the moment. I plan on going to get the uh, weather seasons. Terribly sorry about the dog. This is just to make sure that everything is working. Because <laughs> I don't even know if the fan that's in the Jeep right now even works. That's the thing. So. And if it don't, we'll be making a video about it. Well, I got an extra one here. You know I me, mean? I, I got a older problem with Jeep parts so <laughs> I know I got an extra one <laughs> Crip her on down son Crip her on down ah! <laughs> <laughs> alright so we got the little switch here <sighs> it's black at the top black in the middle red at the bottom wait to go here no not there I talk to myself sometimes. Is that alright? Is it normal to talk to yourself? I suppose. I'd hope so, because I do it a lot. All connected to the switch. Let me go back into the engine bay and uh, go ahead and connect the wire to the battery. Go ahead and flip her. And then just like that, the fan works. Go ahead turn it off. Alright, go ahead. Just like that, the switch, the switch works, the fan kicks on, fan turn it off. And that right there is how you use the K suspension fan relay wiring kit. Again, if you'd like to get one for yourself, go ahead and click the link in the description below. Also, check out the Instagram and Facebook at Backyard Jeeping, as well as the online store, BackyardJeeping.com. Links for all that will be in the description below. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave us a comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one.